I'm starting the morning off right in the basement, trying not to hit my head. Looking through sewing stuff for the boat. Why wouldn't I have a dedicated sewing box of stuff? right there. <laughs> I don't have to go get a zipper. I've got one. I'm on my way this morning to go pick up my buddy Jeff. We're gonna attach a few more things to the top of the, the boat. I uh, got some cable here. I've got to go pick up a few other trinkets bits and bobs. I don't know if I'm going to do that with Jeff or not. There is some stuff I have to do with Jeff that I wasn't planning on doing, but uh, Heidi wanted to hang out this morning. And I have a shopping list that's this long. Of stuff I have to pick up. So, I'm going to have to do that part way through the week, or some of it. Some of it I can do today. I'm just waiting for Jeffrey. It's waiting. Just waiting for Jeffrey. He's uh, it's in the coffee shop, I think. How you doing, man? Yeah. I've seen you in a while. Camera. I know. It's been what? A week? Camera. What do you mean a camera? It's oh, not a camera. This to me. Getting some beautiful for the uh, hatch cover pieces here. <clears throat> Bolt through. Down like that. There we go. Okay, Jeff, I'll need you up here to hold the uh, screwdriver. I like all that existential shit you get. No, I love it. This is just an existential thing. When my tripod loses two. Just like when my tripod loses two legs at the same time. Okay, I left the nuts out there, didn't I? I got three. Yeah, the one closest to the house? Right or left? Closest to the house. Right. Good. Okay, that's good. My lap? Hang on. Okay. You ready? Hang on. Yeah. The one beside it. Oh, oh. Don't go so fast. Is it easier for me to get in there? No. Yeah, after 1.30 tomorrow. Okay. We've got a functioning hatch now. Got all the tools from up here? Um, I don't see anything else, just your phone. Okay, let's go. <laughs> We're gonna take you back, back to the zoo, Jeff. <laughs> the wherever you're going. <laughs> The 
despite what Jeff says, we did get a bunch of stuff done. He just doesn't think we did. Oh, well, we did. And uh, that's good. Yeah, Jeff's a big help. Okay, I'm heading back. I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something. Oh, I'm going to stuff some butyl in a couple of holes. I don't understand why the holes are there. There were the hatches. It's a great spot for a leak anyways. Makes no sense. Fort Stratford. Delicious cheese. Hey. Got the part sanded I wanted sanded. I just want to catch the little picks. Okay. I don't want to the Okay, let's uh, let's look at doing some waterproofing stuff. This one hole that needs to be plugged. I have this. Let's plug it. Let's install it. Seems to be the new kid. The other block. Man. If the birds weren't loud enough. <laughs> That's what the inside of the compass looks like. Okay, what am I gonna do now? Uh, I've gotta get I've measured for my uh, screen. I need a four foot by six foot piece. Ideally a four and a half foot. Here comes my beautiful boy. Hello, sweetie. Hi. Oh, you're not bringing kitty. Oh. See, this is where I go when I don't want to be around you. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this right this time. Oh! I'm off to a good start. Okay. I just went to install a bolt in here for the uh, tie down thing. And I had it gall on me. For those who don't know what galling is, it's when you apply heat and pressure to stainless steel, this neat thing happens where it just develops burrs and it galls into itself and effectively just seizes. So I did that. I'm going to try not to do it this time. Oh, in through my chamfered hole. Now, that didn't gall because I lubricated the threads. Just a little oil. Any oil will do. I don't like putting oil on a sailboat, but yeah, you do. So, uh, L bracket goes on here, and then a wing nut. So that bolt that I had to remove, 
I actually broke it. Yeah, right there. And you can feel the uh, the galls on the threads. And I was just holding it with the, the wrench and spinning it, uh, holding the other side with the screwdriver. No, oh. <clears throat> should have known. Okay, I'm going to find that bracket and put it in. So here's how this bracket works. Either way, it just pulls down on the, the hatch. So now I'm going to take a pencil and mark around my hatch here so I know where to put my uh, weather stripping, keep the bugs out. This stuff, I'm gonna put along here. Five and four, yeah. peel and stick. See how this works. Closer. Still got a little bit of gap up in there. The rest of it's looking good. I'm going to install a handle on the uh, hatch. There's never been a handle on this boat. And you can catch your fingers pretty easily. So, handles can fix that. Since these ends are open, I'm going to get a little more butyl and put it around there. Just, I've got lots of butyl, I may as well stuff it full. We don't get water leaking out of there. More butyl than ever need. But I'd rather have more than not enough. Jeez, I should have got some wrenches. Okay. This excess butyl just pulls it off. If you do it right. If you don't, you just poke at it with more butyl. There we go. It's ready to go on. This is my tiller. A finishing washer. Rubber mount. So I find myself back out in the garage. I'm making a little device so I can use this cooker. So I have to make something for this to hook into. And it's going to hook into this little piece of metal. It's going to be on, attached to the board. The board's going on the boat. And that's how it's going to be. I'll bolt it through into the cockpit so that uh, we can use that if we need to if that isn't working for us. So, two ways to cook. Gotta go into the boat, look for hardware. It's dark.
Well, there we go. Pretty simple. It's, uh, it's still loose, but it's just a piece of metal that's going to hold our, our gimbal. So I'm going to have to put some bigger washers on there because these ones are a little small. I've gone with smaller bolts because I don't want huge holes in the boat. could use a quarter, but no, we're going to go, go with, uh, 1024. Okay. That's that. I'm done for tonight. I just have to drill some holes in the boat tomorrow and <laughs> uh, do a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Please click the clicky things and uh, come on over. Give a handout with the, uh, the boat. We can we can use it.